assigning group work from Google Classroom can really help to organize your class and make things much more direct. And it gives the possibility for your students to share documents and for you to be able to get to those documents easily. And if needed, you can also grade those documents pretty easily. So I'm going to show you a couple approaches to getting group work facilitated via classroom. And there's just one little simple trick that we're going to go over that makes it a lot easier for you. So let's take a look. I'm going to start by going to classwork and I'm going to create an assignment. Now I'm just going to do any kind of assignment. I'll just hit create. And I'm just going to call this uh, group one exercise. Okay, just for something to call it. Okay, so let's say that we have our points, all that stuff. Okay, I don't want to turn this into a Google Classroom thing as much as I want to turn this into how to facilitate groups in Google Classroom. So when we're in Google Classroom, if we want to separate things into groups or to assign things to a specific group, you may already know that you can do so right here through this drop down menu. Now, if I uncheck all students and I have certain people that I want to put into a group, I will simply select that. So just for the record, okay, we're just going to, we're going to do every other one. Okay. So for our next group, we'll do the remainder of these people. So let's say that I only want three people in my group and I've got the three students here. I'm going to assign this. Okay. So that's now been assigned to my group. Okay. Now here's the thing. If you're going to be doing this for multiple groups, it's not really that pleasant to have to keep recreating this using every single step, okay? Particularly if I had really gone in and filled out all those different things like the description and all the things that you really actually have to do for a real assignment. So what I want to do is utilize a little the reuse post feature from Google Classroom. Now, typically this is used when you pull from a previous class. Maybe you've created an assignment in another class or another section and you want to reuse it. But in this case, we're going to do it from the actual class that we're in. Okay, so you can choose which class it is. Right now, I only have these three. Now, the one we're working in here is environmental science. And uh, here is the exercise. So if I, if I do this, okay, uh, also, we're going to look at this part a little bit later, this create new copies. We'll talk about that in a minute. So I'm going to select this. Okay, I'm going to hit reuse. So now this has made a copy of the assignment, and I can just change the, the title. You, you do need to make sure that you can differentiate the, differentiate the titles for groups. In this case, it's group two. And it says for all students, okay? So I'm going to choose the ones that I did not choose the last time, okay? And uh, so that will be my second group. So I'm gonna hit save. And only the students that are assigned to these specific groups will see these. These, when, when, Google, when the students open Google Classroom, they will not see the other people's assignments. So these will be only visible to the people in the specific groups. Now, that is the simplest way of doing it. Let's do this one other way, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to create an assignment. And the only difference on this one is that I'm going to include a Google Doc that I want them all to work off of, okay? And maybe they'll be doing note taking on here, the, whatever it is they're going to be. Maybe it may be the thing that you want them to ultimately submit. But remember, we want them to submit it as a group, so they're all going to be working off of the same doc document. So let's look at that. Okay, so I'm going to do doc exercise. And this will be group one. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to uh, create a new Google Doc. Okay, attach a new item. It's going to be, uh, let's do a spreadsheet. Let's say that they're all going to put something in a spreadsheet. It doesn't really matter. Okay, 
And for this, I can create it. And if I want to create a template for the students, I could say something, you know, have something like result one, and they could be filling some things out here and result two, whatever. I don't even know what this is going to be for, but this is just something. And of course, you could continue this on down. Okay, so whatever. So we've got this, and this is the template that they're going to start with. Of course, they'll be filling things in here. They, they might want to put their names at the top, maybe, as they're adding things here. Okay, so somebody will put their name in and add their results. So maybe it's for an experiment or something. Okay, so I can close this. This is done. And uh, so I've got it. Now, here's where it's key is that what we want to do is that we want to do students can edit file. So when you choose this, all students assigned to this particular exercise will be able to edit the file. There will be one copy that all students work on. Okay, and that's the key to this. So again, we're just going to take the first three students this time and assign it to them. Okay, and we're going to hit assign. Now we're going to do our reuse post again, but we're going to do one more thing. That's something I, I briefly mentioned the last time. So I'm going to click reuse post. And then I'm going to select the the exercise and I want to do create new copies of all attachments. Okay, remember I attached that spreadsheet. So now this will make a new copy for the second group. Okay, and that's the key to uh, this when you're actually including documents. So let me hit reuse. And it's going to make a new assignment for me, I'll change it to group two, and I will assign it to the specific students that need it. Okay, and of course, I probably have more details in here. And let me click Assign. Okay, let's take a look at our classwork page, and you'll see each group has this. Now, what I want to do is log in as one of the participants to show you what that looks like. So I'm just going to go to another browser instance where I've actually assigned myself to this class. Okay, and uh, this is my environmental science class. Now, if I go here, because I am in group one, you'll see that I'm only seeing group one exercise. The other ones are not visible. So that's how that works. This is a quick and easy way to assign groups in classroom and really it helps you keep track of things.